What's happening, everybody? It's Roll Easy here, and tonight I'm back again with another solo money glitch workaround. All right. For those of you who don't know, the last Sultan glitch that I just uh, posted about a day ago has now been patched, but we already have a workaround found by the same founders of the last one. I will have their links down in the description below. But this one has a bit more dire consequences, all right? First of all, we're gonna be spending a bit more, but for those of you who didn't watch the last video, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need the MOC with the personal vehicle storage. You want a Sultan RS inside. You can use a slam van or a custom donk, but I'm telling you, use the Sultan and fully upgrade it because we have to spend more money this time around. Uh, apart from that, make sure you're in a public session. I can't stress this enough. It, it, you can do this in an invite only, but it is much, much more difficult to get the car stacked in the MOC in an invite only session. Public sessions are much more glitchier and it, you will have a better chance of getting those stacked sultans. And you do not need custom plates for this glitch, guys, okay? So no custom plates. You can also use a Faggio. We're gonna call them that for, uh, for this video now. Uh, you can use a Faggio or an RH8. Now, I recommend the Faggio because you can actually request it through your Motorcycle Club menu and you're gonna see why it's beneficial here in a second, all right, once we start getting into this glitch. And you wanna make sure you also have empty spaces, you know, one empty space per dupe that you want. All right, so one empty space for every single dupe you want. We're gonna be parking the original car in there and it's pretty much just about 340k you're spending per dupe and that's if you don't make any mistakes if you make mistakes you're spending even more so you're making roughly around if you have a fully upgraded sultan probably around 400k per dupe but it is the only solo money glitch we got and we will make do with it all right now i'm going to show you guys how to do it so here we go and we're going to get started now i have my moc over here this is a good spot i seem to have some pretty good luck over here by the pier at del piero and what we're gonna do here is the same as before. Now, I'm gonna show you how quick I actually hit this in, a, in this public session. This is the first try, completely uncut this footage right here. All right, so I get in the car, I'm already holding left trigger and pause, and I'm letting go of both as he's about to drive out. All right, so here we go, try again, holding left trigger and pause, letting go, too early. That's why I just keep getting kicked out of the car. So here's slow motion, press Y to get in the car or try and go on PlayStation. Hold the left trigger, which is reverse, and hold pause. Hold left trigger about a quarter of the way, his hand's coming back up to start the car, boom. He's trying to get out of the car and then the pause menu comes up. That's what you wanna see. His right hand is gonna go down to start the car and come back up. When it comes back up, that's when he drives out and that's when you wanna let go of left trigger and pause. And you will get that. You'll get the black screen with the pause menu up. That's the Sultan glitch. You should end up outside on foot. If you've ended up outside on foot, that's a good sign. Run back inside and see if they're stacked. If they're stacked, Awesome. Well, just like this, you've hit it perfectly. And look at that. I hit it pretty much first try. It took me like two tries in the MOC, and then the first try getting kicked outside, boom, I got him. All right, so if you didn't get him like this, you know, just go ahead. I'd recommend driving the Sultan out and then back in again, and then try your luck again. But I was able to get it really quickly in a session. There was about 20 people or so in this one, 21, 22, I think. So what you want to do now is run back outside and order or uh, you know sign in as a motorcycle club president and request a Faggio. Now, when you request it, for some reason every time you got to request it twice. Requesting it once just doesn't work. It, it's kind of really glitchy at this point. I'm going to show you how much more glitchy this you know this glitch actually gets. But uh, yeah, so once I requested it the second time, it showed up on the map and just simply return it back to storage using the MC President menu. Once you've done that. Go ahead and request personal vehicle from the MOC. You want to open up the MOC menu and request personal vehicle from there. What's going to happen now is you actually just requested your original Sultan from the MOC. So the original Sultan, the one that was on the bottom, check that out. You saw that? It actually glitched and went from one side to the other right in front of me. That's how glitchy this thing is. So this is the original that came out of the MOC. You're actually gonna go park it now in a garage with an empty space. You can even go sell this if you want. You just have to get it out of the MOC without putting another car in there in its place. Cause now we just want the dupe sitting inside of the MOC. That's all that's sitting in there now is an unregistered dupe. Uh, the game does not even know that the car is in there, but it's in there. So I just parked the Sultan in here. Like I said, you can even take this Sultan and go sell it if you want. You just gotta get it out of the MOC. Now. Once we've done that, get back out of the garage and take a streetcar back to your MOC. You can even go in there with the streetcar if you don't want to use a Faggio, but I recommend going back and then ordering one up, and then that's what we're going to actually end up driving into the MOC. Now, I have seen in another video that they actually used a streetcar and put the streetcar in there. That is possible, but 
with streetcars, you always run the risk of getting that. Uh, when you go to sell your dupe, the vehicle, uh, you know, you can't sell a vehicle over $50,000 uh, message. So just to avoid that, we're not going to do that. So we're going to use the Faggio and check out the plate. All right. Remember this plate right here. All right. I'm going to show you the name of the plate. And this is the plate that will transfer over to your new dupe 26 bjb 756 all right just remember that the 756 at the end 26 in the front whatever you got to remember just remember that plate that is the plate that's going to end up on our new sultan dupe okay now on the new sultan dupe first of all we're actually going to just go ahead and drive this faggio into the moc and if you saw my last video kind of glitched weird into the second bay this time it glitched normally into the sultan as it should so you got you got the bike right there inside of the sultan dupe okay the game registers that there's a faggio in there not the sultan all right so now what you're going to do is open up your phone go to the internet go to the warsock website renovate the moc we're going to be going to bay three click on the options and go to living quarters so here's the first bit of money you got to spend one hundred and forty five thousand dollars we're not using the empty bay this time so we've already spent 145k and we haven't even duped the car yet so here's a little bit of your money down already now once you've gotten that uh, 145k spent, it's going to just kick you outside like this. Once you're back outside, you're going to just go ahead and run back inside. All right. Like I said, this glitch, you might be spending money on it, but it's solo and you don't need custom plates. So those are some good, you know, good points. But here you go. So now the car is glitched inside the living quarters. Now, don't do what I did. I was kind of running around and trying to do this and trying to do that. It's actually really simple to get in the car, but I was trying to run towards it, like press X, press Y, do all this, you know, crazy stuff. All you got to do is right here, I'm going to stop forwarding it. I just go to the corner of the car, double tap Y, and it just spawns me in there. Okay, so that'd be double tap and triangle on PlayStation. So yeah, just go to the corner and just double tap or triple tap. Now, here are the steps to get everything, you know, to get your dupe. You're going to be going to the Warstock vehicle. This is the very hard part, you know, the part that has consequences if you fail. Uh, but there is a good way to fail as well. So renovate the MOC at Bay 3. We're going to be going to personal vehicle storage, just like the last glitch. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to be hovering over buy. So first, just renovate it normally and then hover over buy. Now, when we're hovering over buy, get ready to hit A and gas at the same time. You're going to be holding the gas the entire time until you get outside. And immediately from A, you're hitting Y. OK, so that's X on PlayStation and R2 and then hold R2 until you're outside and then triangle. All right. So here we go. I was too quick there. So that's the fail you want. If you're too quick, you're just going to get kicked out of the car right there inside. No money lost. OK, once again, what you're doing is you're hitting A and right trigger at the same time, holding right trigger the entire time until you get outside, and then you are spamming Y, okay? I recommend, this is my this is my hand placement on my controller. My, uh, my thumb is on the A button, and then I have my left thumb from my left hand on the Y button ready to go. So I'm hitting A right trigger with my right hand, and then immediately with my left thumb, spamming Y. Okay, that's what I'm doing, and that's why I'm actually getting out of here too quick. But check it out i'm gonna slow it down also so you see there i slowed it down and i ended up using my right thumb to actually go from a to y and it was too slow and you'll see your guy getting out of the car and you'll actually get kicked out of the moc that means you just renovated to personal vehicle storage and you ended up outside without a dupe so i just lost another 195k and now what you got to do is spend another hundred and forty five thousand dollars to actually renovate so I just spent even more money, more than 340k on this right now. So I've already lost, you know, over 400, maybe 450 thousand dollars off the sell price of this dupe because of this. Okay, so if you fail, like I said, there are bigger consequences this time because you have to repurchase the living quarters once again. So another 145k. So I'm going to forward right over here because I ended up doing it too quick again. It just kicks me out of the car there. Watch it kicks me out of the car again. This is the successful attempt. So remember, right hand is A and A and right trigger. Left hand, left thumb is on Y ready to go. So I'm hitting once I'm hovering over by, I'm hitting A and right trigger. I'm holding right trigger the entire time until I'm outside and then spam Y. All right. So here we go. A right trigger spam Y with left thumb. All right. And there we go. That's what you want to see. You want to see this, the image of your Sultan, and then all of a sudden, boom, you end up outside and check out the plate. 26 BJB 756. That was the plate that was on the Faggio. It has transferred over to the new Sultan dupe. That's how we dupe in this workaround. All right, guys? 
So that's pretty much it. Like I said, a little bit of more dire consequences, but it still is a pretty easy glitch once you get used to it. But you're going to have to spend money before you get used to the timing, okay? So you're going to be losing money in the beginning, but you can get good at this glitch. All right, so that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys learned something from this video and hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe if you're new by hitting the big red button. And turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out everybody and have a good night.